cannot believe I actually have to go out in public like this. The hat hides these damn ears pretty well, but that stupid tail won't stay in my stupid pants. Should've just called out. I know I need the money, but no dollar amount is worth the embarrassment of- Was that a bird? Ooh, I bet I could ca- Wait. Stop. Focus. This isn't you. You aren't a cat, despite how much you look like one. You don't chase birds. Just keep your head down and keep moving. Get to work without another incident like that baby in the stroller, and you should be golden. Uh, hey! Watch where you're going, dumb- You? Ugh. I thought being turned into a furry would be the worst part of my day. No, I didn't say anything weird. Pay attention to where you're walking next time, dumbass. Huh? A uh, tail? Oh, it's a, uh, it's for a work thing. We're, we're doing a cat theme at the cafe to sell cat-related products. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks real. They did a great job with the costume. Anyway, bye! I don't have time for a conversation. I've got to get to work. Ow! What the hell? Yeah, okay, it's real. You caught me. I'm not sure what happened, but I'm a cat. Well, part cat. No, it could not be worse. I'm fuzzy, I have huge ears on top of my normal human ears, and a long-ass tail. Not to mention the constant urge to knock things off the table. Breakfast this morning was a mess. You ever wake up with a hair in your mouth? Yeah, try waking up with a whole tail in your mouth. Then I'll let you tell me it could be worse. No, you cannot touch my tail again. I don't care how fluffy it looks. I won't just let you pet me. Before you ask, no, I don't want head pets. Actually, I'd prefer if you would stop following me. You think you know what happened? How could that be possible? We barely know each other. Just seeing each other every day doesn't mean we know each other. It's your choice to come into the shop. I'm forced to be there. Why do you keep looking at me like that? Ugh. Don't tell me you're going to keep bothering me, Hairball. Yes, I called you Hairball. Because you're annoying, inconvenient, and I want to get rid of you as soon as possible. Plus, I don't remember your real name. No, I don't want your actual name. What part of I want to get rid of you do you not understand? Okay, okay, fine. I'll listen. You have ten seconds. Wait, what? Let me get this straight. You found an old storybook at a garage sale yesterday. That plot follows a royal who was turned into a cat for poor behavior. Well, that's perfect then. Tell me how they break the curse in the book. You didn't finish reading it. If you don't know how to fix me, why offer your help? Honestly, that's... Pretty thoughtful. Thoughtful people make me suspicious. Do you know something I don't? This is your fault? I was cursed to look like a freak because you opened some random book at an old woman's garage sale and you have no idea how to turn me back, so I'm probably stuck like this forever, effectively ruining my life because I can barely go ten minutes without coughing up a... <coughs> Hairball. Yeah, you should apologize. I'm seriously considering gunning you like a fish right now. But knowing my luck today, you're probably filled with gluten or saturated fats. So, I'm sparing you. Uh, don't thank me just yet. You caused this problem, so you're going to fix this. And if that means I'm stuck with you for now, so be it. We should probably start by going to talk to that old lady. She's probably secretly a beautiful enchantress if we're really stuck in a fairy tale. If nothing else, we can find that book and you can finish reading it. Oh, you have it with you? Perfect. We'll sit on the bench and while you finish reading, I'll wallow in self-pity. Or chase some birds. We'll see how I'm feeling.
Oh, good. You were almost done. I hate being kept waiting. Ugh, crap. Hey, uh, listen, I've got an itch on my ear, and I'm having trouble reaching it myself. Shut up. Just help me. Don't make a big deal out of it. You tell anyone about that, I'll tell everyone about your pathetic little crush on me. <laughs> you think I didn't notice? The way you stare, the little tremor in your voice when you talk to me. You always compliment my eyes. They're even prettier now in cat form, don't you think? Their almond shape compliments that haunting black center perfectly. Wouldn't you say so? No? That almost hurts, Hairball. With all the talk of fairy tales and curses, I kind of thought it you wanted me to be your princess. Why else would that book turn me of all people into a cat unless you wanted it too? Just dumb luck? Alright. You wouldn't mind if I sat a little closer then? I can hear your heart beating from over here. Wonder what would happen if I took my hand, tilted your face like this, and just... We're so close. I bet you can feel my warm breath on your neck, huh? Does that make your mind race with fantasies of what I could do next? Well, that's all they are. Fantasies. Speaking of fantasies, how's the reading coming? Looked like you were on the last page just a second ago. I'm distracting you. What? I thought you didn't like me. How can my advances be distracting if you're not interested in them? <laughs> Fine. Okay, I'll stop teasing. Just finish reading. Though, I did love seeing your reaction to me taking some control. Oh no. What's the look in your face for this time? Did you finish reading? Finally! So, how do we fix me? What do you mean it doesn't say how? I, I don't believe you. Let me see the book. Alright. That's just childish. Stop playing keep away and tell me how to break this damn curse. It's not that big of a deal. As long as the solution doesn't involve the power of friendship, the power having been inside me all along, or any other type of anime main character crap, I'll do it. Anything to get rid of this unrelenting urge to lick myself. Yes, I, I really mean I'll do anything. You're seriously not going to tell me. Oh, um, it's okay. I'm sorry for calling you hairball earlier. I just really don't know how to control myself around you sometimes. I get so nervous that I'll say the wrong thing on accident that I just kind of say the wrong thing on purpose. <laughs> it's easier for me, I guess. Anyway, um, thanks for trying to help me. Sorry. If I wasted your time, uh, I'll be on my way now. Yeah. Yeah? Really? You'll, you'll tell me? Promise? Pinky promise. <laughs> uh, I knew you'd fall for that soft, sensitive crap, dumbass. Alright, what did the book say? Pick your jaw up off the floor and tell me the ending. You promised. True love's kiss. No, you're lying. You just want to kiss me, so you're making that up. This is some ruse or weird fetish of yours. Let, let me see the book. Once upon a time, blah, blah, blah. Beautiful princess, that's me. I'm gorgeous. Blah, blah, blah. Terrible enchantment. Well, yeah, duh. Only to be broken by love's first kiss. Great. Of course that's what it actually says. I really shouldn't have expected anything else from Fairy Tale. Well, this really was a waste of time then. <sighs> I wonder if I just cut off the ears? Would they grow back? Yes, I'm serious. It's my only option, apparently, because there's no way I'm finding True Love's Kiss anytime soon. Okay, now you've got to be kidding me. 
You're not actually suggesting that we try kissing. I'll tell you why not. Because it's a stupid idea, hairball. My teasing earlier obviously messed with your head. Because even if I did have a true love, it sure as hell wouldn't be you. Okay, I guess your logic isn't entirely idiotic. If you read the book and it cursed me, then obviously we're connected in some weird way fine because you won't let this go i'll give it a try close your eyes i'll take care of this <clears throat> uh, well would you look at that i'm back to normal what happens next is I go to work and hope I'm not fired for being late. Again. Huh? You want me to thank you? You're the one that caused me to look like that. Why should I thank you? Alright, fine. In the interest of full disclosure, that kiss wasn't half bad. And you're not terrible to look at, so... Good job on your face, I guess. What I'm trying to say is, would you like to go out with me sometime? Yes? <laughs> I knew you would say that. After all, that kiss does mean I'm your true love, and you're lucky to have such a great kisser as your true love, so you better not waste this opportunity. Right, so... Give me your number, and I'll text you the plans for a date after work. <laughs> 